What's up, YouTube? Uh, I know it's been a while since I posted. I had a couple of videos that I recorded that I was going to, but for whatever reason, didn't. Um, just wanted to update you kind of on what's going on uh, in my life. Um, I think in a past video, I posted that I was, uh, that I'd bought another truck. Um, I can't remember exactly everything I talked about, so. And I don't have the time or the energy to go back and watch it. And I hate watching myself anyway, so. Um, just to kind of get up to speed on everything here. Um, I started posting about the, uh, or I started my, um, YouTube videos, basically, um, when I was buying the Volvo, um, and then, uh, had that for a while, and then, um, it was going great when I first started, what's this, go, go away, I don't know if that is, whatever, there's a fan, whatever, anyway, um, when I first started, it was going well. Um, I was making decent money, uh, you know, it was going great. Um, then the company I was with, <clears throat> excuse me, the company I was uh, leased onto, um, started reducing my miles. I was, with that particular one, I was uh, paid a certain amount per mile. Um, and the way I worked it out and justified it in my head, right or wrong at this point, doesn't matter. Um, you know, if I ran, even just the way I was running as a company driver, um, you know, running the miles that I typically run, that I like to run, that I can run, you know, not anything crazy, just what I have always done, basically. Um, after my truck payment, insurance, you know, all that crap came out, I was still looking at bringing home decent money. Um, you know, I, to get off topic here, I never got into buying a truck, you know, to make a shit ton of money, you know, get stupid rich, because I, I'm realistic in the knowledge that that's not going to happen. But I want to at least be able to pay my bills. So anyway, back to topic with that company. This is really annoying me. What? I don't know what happened. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my camera. Anyway. Um, when I first got with that company and you know, I was buying my truck and stuff, it was going well. I was making decent money. Then they started reducing my miles, and I wasn't making as much money. And there was one week I went home with... Actually, there were a couple of weeks where I went home with, like, 30, 35 bucks. Um, and after talking to uh, my dispatcher and, you know, the people above her and going through a whole bunch of stuff, um, it wasn't really getting any better. So I left that lease. Uh, now, just to put it out there, I'm not going to name, I'm not going to throw out company names there uh, for two reasons. One, I don't feel like getting sued. Um, and two, um, just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it, it's not working for somebody else. So, um, just for me personally, it didn't work. Um, so anyway, I left there and, um, went back to work for the company I worked for before I did all that. Um, and then I worked there for, um, a little while. Um, and I had some... I went through a point where I was I was getting kind of burned out with trucking. Just to put it out there, I was just 
burned out. I was out all the time. I wasn't home very much. You know, I had some stuff going on at home. Um, you know, and I was just, I needed to get off the road for a little bit. You know, and, and to be honest, I had considered getting out of truck driving altogether. Um, I talked to my wife about it. You know, we, we went over, you know, finances and, you know, just, we, we, we talked about everything. Um, I even went so far as to apply for jobs and look for jobs that were not related to truck driving. Um, I was even going to consider getting back into doing cable, which I absolutely despise. Um, so I ended up taking uh, about a month, month and a half off. Um, and... kind of decided that A, nobody's really hiring for shit, or nobody was hiring even back then, no, nobody was hiring really, at least around where I live, uh, and two, I like truck driving, it annoys the shit out of me, it frustrates the hell out of me, but I love this job. And even with being burnt out and being frustrated at everything that had happened, um, I, I wanted to get back into it. So I came back out. I got a job with a, a tanker company not too far from where I live. Um, and did that for a little bit. And I didn't really care for pulling tankers all that much. Um, it, it just, I didn't care for it, so. Um, left there and s saw an opportunity to buy another truck. Talked to my wife about it, you know, went over all the concerns that we had, over, you know, from the last one. Um, talked to the guy, seemed like, you know, a, a, a good, a good thing. So I went ahead with it. Um, went and picked up the truck. Um, uh, where was it at? It was up by Green Bay. Um, came back, you know, home with it. So basically, I, I test drove it from Green Bay home. Uh, you know, I went over the truck the best that I could. I'm obviously not a mechanic, but I know enough to get myself in trouble, apparently. Um, so, drove the truck, everything seemed okay. Um, and then for the first, you know, probably two months, everything was, was going decent with it. Um, there are a couple of minor things that weren't immediate deal breakers for me as far as, you know, that truck was concerned. Um, but I went in for a, uh, uh, basically an oil change, uh, prevent a PM, uh, preventative maintenance, you know, oil change, grease job, you know, going through, the, you know, whatever. And found out that there was actually a whole list of stuff that was wrong with the truck that I was going to have to address if I kept it. And I just... I had some money saved up. Uh, but I didn't have... It was, it was basically... All told, it was going to cost about fifteen dollars to $20,000 to, to get the truck to where it needed to be. Um, and I think I put a tour of it up or I talked about it briefly. Um, it's a 2015 Kenworth T680. Um, and it just needed a lot of work that I was unaware of. Um, you know, and that, that's on me. Um, you know, that, 
that was me being I don't want to say careless but I'm not I don't know the word I'm looking for but I didn't do enough on my part to avoid that I guess um, so made the decision this was actually right before um, actually right after it's like a week after all this uh, COVID-19 stuff started um, I well I made the decision after talking with my wife to walk away from that um, just from a financial standpoint um, and then I ended up getting into uh, a company that's like right down the street from my house like five minutes away from my house um, they had actually been pursuing me for a while um, talked to them a few times over the last year or so um, so when <clears throat> came here um, so I'm back to being a company driver um, I'm in a 2020 can work T680 um, with it's a, it's a pretty decent truck. I like it. Um, the only thing I don't care for is um, it doesn't have an APU and it has uh, collision avoidance stuff. So it has like the forward facing radar and the blind side radar. Um, I don't care for those too much. Um, I did a tour, I recorded a tour of it, I need to post, it's like 20 minutes long, um, but, um, other than those two things, I mean, it's, it's a nice truck, it, it runs well, um, it's an automatic, um, me personally, as far as company trucks are concerned, I could give a shit if it's an automatic or a manual, um, I know there are some people out there who will only drive manuals, good for you. Me personally, if it's making me money, I don't care. You know, especially if I'm not paying for it. Um, and with the way my my uh, left ankle is, um, it's getting to the point where I might have to start exclusively driving automatics. Um, just from various injuries I've had over the years and um, so I get some pain in it every once in a while so um, but anyway so I mean that's that's what's been up with me I know I don't post a lot on here as it is um, you know I don't have typically have a lot of time to uh, sit down and record a video I have been tossing around the idea of getting like a, a GoPro or, you know, something I can mount on the wind, windshield. Um, get some video that way, maybe start some uh, over-the-road videos and stuff like that. But um, with things going the way they are right now, um, it might be a while before that happens. Um, but... Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got going on. Um, you know, I'm just out here trucking. You know, back to company driving. It, it, you know, yeah, it's nice to to run your own company, and you know, when the when the money's there, that's nice. Um, with freight rates the way they are right now, I actually got out at a good time. Um, just because they went to the floor and I'd be even more in debt than I already was, so, um, you know, I'm, I've talked to the wife about it, we may, you know, in the future, you know, try to buy another truck, I don't know, uh, with some of the other stuff we've got going on right now, I kind of like to, I kind of like having the stability of, 
the company side as far as you know the money and the insurance and, and stuff like that so yeah. uh, but anyway that's what's been going on here um, as always thanks for watching um, you know we'll try to post some videos um, like I said it, I kind of post them and you know if I think about something I want to talk about or you know whatever but yeah. talk to you guys soon